So then the next option is um, for papers that you'd like to see in a specific color that you're flipping through magazines can't find or looking in a paper store and can't find is to paint the paper yourself. Um, the best types of papers to use for these are the thicker stock papers, again, because you're working with a wet surface. You want to make sure that it's a type of paper that won't um, buckle, won't fall apart on you, especially thin papers, um, drawing papers from a drawing pad usually are a little too thin for doing this type of um, painting on. So as you can see here, I sort of have created a variety of colors for myself. I've also done um, other paintings that I decided that I wasn't too fond of as a painting as a whole on papers, and I've cut out different pieces or ripped out different pieces and shapes um, so that I can use papers that I've painted on myself. Um, so again, you have all types of options when you're working with painting your own paper, um, but then you have the uh, choice to be able to make the colors that you'd like and the colors that you're looking for.